Hello everyone, this is Matthew Gregg here from Voices of the Silenced and I'm right here at the National Stadium in Warsaw, Poland. And we are having a unique groundbreaking time in Poland. Our journey started with the sexuality conference uh, called From Athens to Jerusalem that happened in Radosz, uh, leading to uh, an incredible time at Church of Glory where we saw Sound of Glory worshiping. It was a, a wonderful time of just declaring uh, God's praises and worship worship and uh, we also got to share our testimonies uh, Dr. Mike Davidson and myself as well uh, just shared our story of being freed from homosexual desires and practices and the church was edified and people who were present there for the first time were also impacted by the love of Christ and we also here at the OSCE Human Dimensions Implementation Meeting, which is happening this year, 2019, and we are presenting our concerns in relation to one's gay realities and how these identities should be recognized in this day and age. We are so encouraged to see the young generation rise up to hear this call from God and actually take action and be a part of the solution. What is it that you would like to say to people who struggle with same-sex attraction? I would like to say to you that there is a choice, you know, uh, that there is a hope uh, to be changed by God's love. It's the most important thing I experienced. When God's love just fulfilled me from inside, it changed everything and it started changing my mind, my heart, and you know, four years ago, I was a lesbian, and today, I am a woman, can't wait to be married to a man and to have children, and God really changed me from inside, so it is possible. Agnieszka, thank you so much for coming and sharing. Um, what do you think the value of coming to the OSCE is for people who are concerned about people with unwanted same-sex attractions? I think the most crucial thing is to be visible, uh, to represent the people who are silenced, uh, who, are, don't, who don't have the opportunity to speak, to raise their voice. Um, I think uh, it is uh, important to show that uh, there is diversity of opinions and, uh, and to fight for the freedom of uh, religiosity. I believe that we received a really fantastic connection with Dr. Mike and Matthew and like I said uh, to you before that we had made this interview was that we've been really crying out and praying for people specifically in Europe who understand European issues. No offense to America or other or Australia or other places. If you live here in Europe, we understand European issues, right? And so do you think these issues have relevance in Poland? Because Poland, it seems to me, isn't in such a bad way as the US and the UK around gender, or is that a misapprehension? Well, to be honest with you, uh, since the Iron Curtain lifted up yep. in 1989, a plethora of things have come into the country, uh, some very positive, some very good things, and you can see that, that this country is in tip-top shape, it's robust, but then you have other things that have also come in from the West that maybe were here a little bit, but now it's been given more limitlessness, so to speak. And one of those things is that homosexual lifestyle. And you're even seeing recently in this nation where the uh, agenda, the political agenda of uh, this particular group or so is really starting to make um, more of a heavier push. This is something that I believe that should be heard more and more. The message that you brought, the message that people cannot be silenced that we have to be able to like release the message out there that there is a choice, that there is the choice. To me, it's like the most important thing that like right now, all over the world, like this, uh, this voice of um, like, can I say suppressing um, people who want to like, you know, leave the area of uh, homosexuality. And it is named as something, you know, that does harm and, none of us in here deeply you know deep inside agrees with that 
and we always knew that there is a choice and we always knew that you know that God is able to do anything and personally uh, many years ago you know I, I had many friends from gay community and um, and they were my friends like good colleagues and I always knew that there is more you know and I was praying for God that he like um, shows me somebody that I needed a testimony of somebody who used to be from that community sure. and who was saved by God like fully you mm -hmm. know and then I met a girl in the street uh -huh. we were doing outreach like evangelism and uh, she just uh, stood by and she was listening to us and it turned out that she used to be a lesbian and God saved her and half a year later she was also saved from that area like mm -hmm. in a dream she mm -hmm. received a dream that she saw a husband and from the next Next day when she opened her eyes she knew that she wants to have a husband and now she you know she's a mother and obviously a wife and it's just beautiful pastor Yanis, you've been very open-minded in allowing us to come into the church thank you so much i'm hoping that we achieved what you wanted to achieve yeah actually uh this is a part of what our church wants to really achieve in our country uh well uh, nowadays uh, in Poland, uh, what we have is a, an enormous pressure, uh, and public pressure even from the politicians and, and from main uh, TV stations uh, uh, on those on those questions. Actually, the questions of homosexuality, LGBT circles, and so on. So we 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 feel it very strongly. This is like preparing the society, the, the majority of the Polish society, for for changes, for law changes, and 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 so on. Uh, so, uh, so this is the right time to stand and to, to say what we believe is right. What I like myself is that Polish society, uh, majority of Polish society, is still, I would say, conservative. And, and this is a headache of those uh, LGBT circles uh, because they would like to slice this, this society one slice after another. And just to somehow uh, to weaken the, 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 the society in, in that sense, in this, in this matter. If you had the opportunity to mm -hmm. speak to local churches, what, what would your advice be in terms of mm -hmm. preparing mm -hmm. for this onslaught, really? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, the most important thing is for every church, for every pastor, for every leader, Christian leader, is to speak the truth and to stand for the truth as it is as is in the Bible, as it is in the, in, in the Holy Scriptures. And so, as it is written there, so once we take the stand, the people, the right people also will gather around us. Uh, so we, we cannot be afraid. I mean, fear is the, the, the last thing we, we have to, uh, I would advise in, in, that, in that thing. So no fear, but just speak the truth, in love, of course, but then you will see what will happen. The right people will be around, and the people believing the same way, people having no fear, will, will gather around you. So this is, I think, the most important thing. Pastor Yanis from mm. Church of Glory in Warsaw, thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you so much. We're excited to come to Poland to meet with new people, uh, to visit an interdenominational conference, to go to a church that is clearly warmly receiving people from an ex-gay position and those who want to find their way out of homosexuality. And we've also come to the OSCE, to the HDIM meeting, the largest human rights meeting in Western Europe. We're calling all churches around the globe to come and join us in this effort to really uh, support a biblical family, to support individuals who have left unwanted same-sex desires and practices and, and want to lead a holy life. So um, join us, follow us on Facebook, follow us on social media, Voices of the Silenced, Core Issues Trust, and be a part of this work, whether it's financially, whether it's, uh, it's uh, sending out people, workers to do the work, this is exciting and we're seeing a shift taking place in Europe.